This is Data Specialist Sanders of the Ongoing Data Redundancy Project. SCP-228, Object Class is Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-228 will be used to conduct experimental psychiatric testing at Site-23. SCP-228 is to be kept under glass in Observation Room 113-AD-C at Site-23. Access to Observation Room 113 ADC will require either Level 4 authorization or a signed notification from Medical Director Light. Observation Room 113 ADC is to be monitored by no fewer than four high-definition video cameras and a reinforced one-way observation mirror running the full length of the east wall. When a subject observes SCP-228, their reaction is to be documented by no fewer than five researchers stationed behind the observation mirror, as well as the subject's accompanying psychiatrist. Description SCP-228 is a Polaroid photograph of variable appearance. It is apparent at this time that SCP-228 derives its subject matter from the subconscious mind of the viewer. The images produced are always visually clear, but vary in interpretive coherency. For example, one viewer may cause SCP-228 to manifest a clear portrait of that viewer's father, while another causes an image of a heart-shaped object submerged in green fluid to redacted. The coherence of the image, produced by SCP-228, appears to vary from subject to subject, and is theorized to have some connection to the viewer's emotional state. SCP-228's various image manifestations can be photographed normally, Although the photographs will not display the ability to manifest new images, it will manifest an image when viewed remotely by video feed. After SCP-228 has manifested an image, it will remain inert, displaying the same image until that viewer looks away. At that point, it will adapt its manifestation to reflect that of the current viewer. The question of what SCP-228 manifests when observed is moot. SCP-228 will be used to assist members of the psychiatric staff at Site-23. During psychoanalysis, the patient, hereafter referred to as the subject, will be asked leading questions and instructed to look at SCP-228. Once the manifestation has been recorded, the subject will be instructed to look away. At no point should the interviewer view SCP-228 before the subject, as this will corrupt the record and potentially skew psychoanalysis of the subject. Addendum as of redacted date, no personnel who have previously been exposed to a visual mimetic agent is authorized for exposure to SCP-228 due to the possibility of subsequent data expunged.